Hey up, I'm Alex, I'm a Knight Digidestined, and this is a beginner's guide to the original Digital Monster Vital Bracelet. And I am absolutely buzzing to announce that this video is in partnership with my new Bezzy Chicks over at Bandai Shop UK. All of the main products featured in this video are available on their website, so it'd be really cool if you could head over there and show them some support. And we've decided to bring you this video because this is the version of the Vital Bracelet that is currently available in the UK. So this is a beginner's guide, so I'm going to assume that this is your first time ever seeing a Digimon Vital Bracelet and your first experience with the wonderful world of digital monsters. Ace. So, what is the Vital Bracelet? The Digimon Vital Bracelet is an exciting new way to raise your very own digital monster companion. One of the many things that I love about the Digimon universe is the unique bond between Tamer and Digimon, and the implication that through that bond, you share your life force with one another. And that is reflected perfectly in the Digimon Vital Bracelet, because you will wear this watch and it will track your activity levels, your heart rate, your steps, and your physical exercise to directly influence your Digimon strength, mood, and evolution. So the harder you work, the better Digimon you will raise. So you wear this band, you get active, you raise the biggest and best Digimon possible to battle your friends and explore the digital world together. Pretty cool. Next up, let me introduce you to DIM cards. So these are DIM cards, Digimon Identified Memory. Each of these DIM cards contains its very own Digi Egg, and inside that Digi Egg is its very own family tree of Digimon to raise and battle. So, you'll be glad to know that each Vital Bracelet comes with a DIM card of its own. So you can see here, this black band comes with the Pulsemon DIM card. Here you can see a little preview here, Impulse City. So you'll plug this into your Vital Bracelet, and this will hatch out your very own Digi Egg, which will contain the Pulsemon family tree of Digimon. And at any point, you can change this out to raise a different Digimon. So if you don't want to raise Pulsemon anymore, you can treat yourself to the Agamon and Gabamon DIM card set. Plug in your Agamon DIM card, raise your own Agamon, and then depending on your activity levels and your battles and all that stuff will depend on how your Agamon will digivolve. Pretty cool. So the DIM cards are a great way of expanding and enhancing your play and discovering other new Digimon. Pretty cool. So now it's unboxing time. So let's have a quick look at the box itself. So on the front, you can see a preview of the screen, the interface. You can see that you have interchangeable backgrounds. We can see a really nice print of Pulsemon looking ace. He's the poster boy for the original Vital Bracelet. Uh, on the side, we can see the DIM card being plugged in looking ace. On the top, we can see the box contents, the Vital Bracelet, the Impulse City DIM card and the Versus DIM, which we will talk about later. On the side, some information in Japanese, and on the back is a bit more Japanese because these are not a translated version of the Japanese release, these are an import of the Japanese release. But I can assure you that you don't need to know Japanese to enjoy this device. There is very minimal text. In fact, I think it's only the Digimon's name which appears in Japanese. And through the app and all that kind of stuff, you can find that out anyway. So yeah, please don't be deterred by the Japanese language. It really will not affect your gameplay at all. Right, let's open it up. -da, there it is. So here is our very own Impulse City DIM card with Bulkmon looking shredded. Here is the Vital Bracelet itself. There's the DM logo at the top. This is the Versus Memory. You're gonna need this to battle your friends, which I will demonstrate later. And this is the charge cable, which you will plug into your computer or laptop USB, and it will charge from there. And this is the Vital Bracelet. So we've got a button at the top and a button at the bottom, A and B. This little flap here is the charge port. So this is where you'll plug in your USB. This side, is where you'll insert your DIM card. So you unplug this, be very careful not to lose it. And this is where you'll insert your DIMs. The strap is a press stud and the power switch, this little bad boy right there. And this part in the middle, that's the heart rate sensor. The other thing I'd like to mention is the length of the straps on this. So if you are a fellow big kid, then there's a chance this might not fit. For me, this fits absolutely perfectly, 
but it is on the final peg. So if you're an even bigger kid than me, then there's a chance this might not fit, but just something to consider. So let's switch her on. Here we go. Digital monster. And now it's asking us to insert our dim card. So let's take our trusty Impulse City, unplug the dust cover, and here we go. Now, it's very important to leave the dim card in until it's finished loading it. This can take up to a minute, but for the purpose of this video, I will cut it down. But beware, this can take a minute or two. Dim accepted. Now, only remove it when you see that symbol. Now, it's telling us to set the vital bracelet. Here's the egg. Here it comes. Push! And there's our little baby. Awesome. And just a little heads up, be sure to keep a hold of these dim cards because you're going to need them more than once. Right, let's have a look at it. So here you can see the battery, the time, the vital points and the steps. So vital points are earned through general activity, through walking, through raising your heart rate, but they're also earned by winning battles. But they are also lost for inactivity so if you're being lazy you're going to lose your vital points you've got to stay active you've got to keep on it to keep your digimon strong and healthy but as this journey's just begun we've currently got zero vital points so we scroll through the menus with the top button which i'll call a here's the first one so i'll call this the parameters screen so we select with the bottom one b so here, this is the vital points. You can see we've got none, so the ring is gray. As we fill up our vital points, that ring will go yellow. Next up, this is our heart rate. So it's registering my heart rate at 80. If we wanna try and recalibrate this, we press both buttons at the same time on this screen. So now it's reassessing my heart rate. Eighty-three. Cool. Next up, our step counter. It thinks we've done 46 steps just while we've been sat here. And lastly, back to main menu. So the heart rate is not medically accurate. Please do not use this as a medical way of recording your own heart rate. And the step counter can be a little bit generous because it's on your wrist. So if you talk a lot like this, then you're probably gonna get more steps than if, you know, you keep your hands still. <laughs> so yeah, don't take it too literally. Remember to approach it with an open mind and an active imagination. Next screen along, the little bottom on icon, that's our Digimon stats. So here across the top in Japanese, you can see the Digimon's name, his type and his age. So he's zero days old. Next screen are his battle stats. As we evolve and train, you'll see little stars appear under each of those stats to represent how strong he is in each area. So DP, HP, and AP. Next, his battle record, which again, 0% battle wins um, and zero battles. And trophies. You earn trophies by doing daily challenges and daily exercises. And you can keep track of how many trophies you've got here. Next menu, this is the training icon, but we cannot train at baby or in training level. We have to wait until we reach rookie. Next is the lights. So this is pretty cool. So if you need to charge this thing, or if you need to take it off for whatever reason, I would recommend heading to the light and putting your Digimon into backup, like so. Select, backup, okay, select. So there he is, he's gone. Because when you take this vital bracelet off, when it stops detecting movement and stops detecting heart rate, you'll start to lose your hard earned vital points. So if you need to charge this thing or you need to take it off to have a shower or whatever, then use the light bulb backup feature to protect your hard earned vital points. And then at any time you can scroll back there, select backup and bring out your precious little baby. Next up is app. I will show you that shortly, but when you want to synchronize your watch with your app, you will select this and this is how you will do it. Next up is settings. So in settings, we can change the time. We can change the background. So the vital bracelet 
has one, two, three standard backgrounds, but each DIM card comes with its own exclusive background. So option four will be your DIM card's background. So if we select that, we can now see our baby chilling out in the Impulse City background. How cool is that? Next up, the brightness. So we select this and we can change the brightness of the device. So low, all the way up to five. Next, sound. So you can have the sound on or off. And lastly, all reset. So if you're fed up with your Digimon, if you're ready to raise a new one and you wanna kill it off, you can select that button and it will delete your current Digimon. Next up, let's talk about Digivolution or Evolution. So each stage of Digimon has a different evolution window, a different time period which that Digimon exists. When it gets to the end of that time period, your Digimon will be ready to Digivolve. When it does want to Digivolve, you're gonna see the screen light up and say Evolution. When this happens, press the select button to activate that Digivolution. So in one hour's time, we should hopefully see our baby level Digivolve to in training level. One other thing regarding evolution on the original Digimon Vital Bracelet is that the evolution timer will pause while your Digimon is asleep. So this means, let's say you've got four hours left for your Pulsemon to Digivolve, but he falls asleep, you'll have to wait till he's awake again before you continue counting that time. So while he's asleep, his evolution timer won't be ticking down either. So just something to keep in mind. Next up, I'd like to show you the app. So the app is now available in the UK. Bandai Shop worked really hard to make that happen because the app massively enhances the gameplay. So you don't need the app. Everything you need to do, you can do with the device, but the app is just a great addition to it. So this is it, Digital Monster Vital Bracelet Lab. So this is where you will transfer your Digimon. So if we head down here to scan, select Vital Bracelet to App. So we're gonna go here. So this screen is telling us to get the Vital Bracelet ready. So on our Vital Bracelet, we scroll across to App, we select. So now that we have the matching screen, we press Send. And now it's ready, so we hold it together. And through the power of NFC, things are about to start happening. There it goes, out of the Vital Bracelet and into the app. So here we can see our Digimon's information. His name is Dokimon, he's in training one. He has no attribute, he's no days old. He's had no weekly vitals and he has 42 minutes left until he Digivolves. So the app is great for so many reasons. So across the top here, this is our Tamer profile. So we can see that I'm Digital Dream 09, Tamer level 94, uh, V-Coins, these are all the Digimon I've trained, Digidex total, so how many DIM cards I've used, all my battles, this is all my stuff. <laughs> Mad flex, I know. <laughs> and here you can see a list of all the DIM cards you've raised. So the blue ones are the ones I've done, the gray ones are the ones I haven't. Next along, this is your special missions. So you can send special missions from your app to your vital bracelet to help you get extra trophies. So you would select here and you can pick from one of these. And completing one of these will give you three trophies. So this is a great way to boost up the trophies to get that Digivolution that you want. Next along is our daily kind of passive missions from the app. So today, just a sync bonus. So I got a thousand V coins just for syncing with the Vital Bracelet. Next along, this is really cool. This is one of the main features of this app, storage. So you won't start with this many storage containers. As you're playing, you will earn and unlock more. Um, I've been playing for a very long time, so I've got loads. Um, so here you'd click on an empty storage container, and this is a way of storing your Digimon in the app. So if you've finished your evolution and you don't want to delete your Digimon, you can store them in the app and keep them there, ready to bring out at any time. So here you can see I've raised kind of a dream team, so I could bring these out at any time to battle with my friends. So let's say I've got a Mega, but my friend's only got a champion level and they want a battle, I'll switch my Mega out, bring out one of these champion levels and we can fight with those instead. It's amazing. Okay, then down here, so we've seen Scan, We've seen log, now let's go to Digidex. 
This is another of the defining features of this app. So here we can see all the DIM cards. Again, w weird flex I know, but I've completed all of my current DIM cards. So you can see this little complete tick. And if you click on them, so we'll click on Impulse City, you can see the Digimon that you've raised in this device. I've already completed this DIM card, so you can see all of them. But let's say I hadn't raised Runamon yet, then this one would be blank. But what else is really cool about this is you can see the evolution requirements you need. So when our Dokimon evolves into a Pulsemon, we can tap on Pulsemon and this will bring up Pulsemon's information. So we can see his official profile. We can see his special moves. But here we have Digivolution requirements. So now we can see that if we want to raise our Pulsemon into Bulkmon, for example, we're going to need eight trophies, which we earn from exercises. We're going to need 1,200 vital points, which we earned from winning battles and general activity. We're going to need to have had at least eight battles. The next one down is win percentage, so that won't matter for this evolution. And how long it's going to take. So it's going to take 16 hours for Pulsemon to be ready to digivolve into Bulkmon. So again, this is a great way of logging your journey, learning new Digimon and unlocking the Digimon that you want to raise. Next along items so a lot of these i don't actually use but some of them are really handy so for example this one here vitals up code let's say you're short of a few vitals to reach that next evolution but your evolution time is nearly up so here we can see dokimon has got no vital points if we tap on him we could use the vitals up code. Another item I'd like to talk about is the Digivolution timer. So when you're transferring your Digimon back from the app to the vital bracelet, you can send them with an item. So you can give them this to carry back with them and this will reduce their Digivolution time by 10 minutes. So this is a, a way of speeding up your evolutions a little bit. And lastly, battle. Um, so to battle, we're gonna need to be at rookie or higher. So let's switch out our Dokimon. So we're gonna go to the storage again we're going to bring out Pulsemon. Okay, so let's go to battle. So there are different categories. Standard is anything goes, and then obviously the rest are kind of self-explanatory. So let's go to rookie battle, and let's battle against an Agumon. So now we can give him some battle items, so like evasion chip or defense chip. Let's use a defense chip. There we go, that reduces damage received by 10% and it's fighting time. So we have to stop this bar at full and we have to release the button when it's full. There we go. So it's not when you press it, it's when you release it. And this has got our critical hit. We've taken a hit. So I think that means Agamon's going to dodge it. Yep. Okay. Let's try again. Come on, electric rush. They both the chief critical. Oh, we've taken another hit. This isn't going well for Pulse Mom. Oh, we've dodged it. Nice one. Ooh, one hit. That was a lot of damage. And there we go. So now our Pulsemon has a, has a victory under his belt. And we have a rank in that category. And then we earn items for battling in the app too, which is Ace. Now, let's bring our Pulsemon out of the app and into the Vital Bracelet. So to do this, we're going to go to Scan. We're going to go App to Vital Bracelet. So now it's making, telling us to make sure we've got the relevant DIM card handy. Because sometimes you're going to need to plug it in. So check DIM card. Would you like to spend special missions or items? Yes. So we will edit our deck and we're going to send reach 360 vitals in 60 minutes. And now it's asking what items we'd like to send. Let's send a Digivolution timer to reduce that Digivolution time. Okay, now we need to get it set up on the vital bracelet. So we select app again. Now we scan. So we're going to have to do this three times. So now it's checking to see if the DIM card is installed. If it is, it's going to go straight to the screen, which it's on now. If it isn't, it's going to ask you to reinsert the DIM card. So DIM card is installed. So now we scan again. And then the final one. So now we're on the waiting screen. It's ready. From the phone into the device. How cool is that? And we can see from that little sun icon that Pulsemon is feeling happy. Ace. So now that we have a rookie level in our vital bracelet, we can show off the training. We scroll along to the training icon and we select. So we have normal mission. 
Normal mission is our daily mission. It's like a passive one. And today's is get 3000 steps. Complete that and we're gonna win a trophy. Next up is hard mission. So in no particular order, you're gonna get squats, crunches, punch, and sprint. Here you can see I'm training and working out, but I'm not doing squats for you right now. <laughs> Next up, special mission. So this is the mission that we brought back from the app. So we select this and we can see we need to earn 360 vital points to get that special mission. And last but not least is adventure mission. Adventure mission is really cool. So it gives you stages to complete. So we select stage one. And now we've got 500 steps. When we get to the end of 500 steps, we're gonna have an enemy Digimon to battle. And if you can complete all 15 stages, you will unlock the final evolution. Pretty cool. One more thing about training, your normal and your hard missions will only reset when the clock turns over from 11.59 to midnight. So if you turn your device off at night, then you're not gonna reset those trophy missions because the clock isn't gonna cross from 23.59 to 0000. So if you do that, then I would recommend just playing with the clock to reset those missions. And in that same vein, let's say you've completed all of your hard missions for the day, but you still need a few more trophies, you can just change the time to 23.59, let the clock roll over to 0000, and then change the time to the normal time, and you'll be able to do your hard missions all over again to get more trophies. Bit of a top tip. Next up, sleep. So you see those little bubbles next to our Pulsemon here? That means he's asleep. So he's not gonna acquire any vital points for any exercises we do while he's asleep, but it also means we can safely take him off our wrist, set him down to charge, and we're not gonna lose any vital points either. So when he falls asleep, he's effectively paused. Next up, your Digimon's mood. So, as I showed you earlier, your Digimon can be happy. If your Digimon's happy, you'll see the sunshine appear and your Digimon will fight better. He will earn you more trophies. Your Digimon can be passive, so you won't see any symbol next to him. Or your Digimon can be sad, like this. So, this means he's bored. He's not happy. You see that little cloud? That means he's fed up and he's going to start losing vital points. This cloud will appear if you're not being very active, like sitting on your ass talking to a camera for an hour, or if you take the vital bracelet off, or anything like that. If you see that cloud, it's not detecting enough movement or enough heart rate. So if you're adamant that you are being active, again, you can recalibrate the heart rate sensor just to see if that's the problem. So yeah, there we go. That time it worked. So if you press both buttons down on the heart rate screen, then it will recalibrate and hopefully fix the problem. But if that doesn't work, then you're just gonna have to do some star jumps or go for a jog. <laughs> also, while your Digimon has the cloud next to its head, that also means it's more likely to receive injuries in battles. Next up, battles. So there are three ways you can battle on your Digimon Vital Bracelet. First up, let's talk about the Versus Dim. So this little bad boy is the Versus Memory Dim, and this is what we use to battle with our friends. So, let me show you. Unplug the dust cover, insert the Versus Dim. Again, making sure that the screen is on. But now this will load Pulsemon into the Versus Dim. Again, this can take a minute or so, so for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna trim it. But just so you know, just keep waiting until it gives you the prompts to take the dim card out. There we go, Pulsemon is leaving the vital bracelet and he's going inside the versus dim. Okay, now we remove the dim card. Here's an Agamon I prepared earlier. So once again, we make sure the screen is on and now we plug this same versus dim. Okay, here we go, here's the battle. So Agamon is under attack from Pulsemon. And let the battle begin. There they are, shouting each other down. Agamon kicks off with Pepper Breath. Pulsemon dodges it, nice one, which means this attack should land. Very good, taking half health off Agamon. Here's Agamon's critical hit. You get that little close-up feature when your Digimon does their big hit. Uh, luckily, we dodge that. And here's ours, Electric Rush. Boom, Agamon is defeated. 
So, Agumon loses. So he loses some vital points. However, he gains some bonus points as well just for having the, the, the battle, which is awesome. So there's no, really nothing to lose. Remove the dim. Now again, make sure the screen is on. Plug the dim back in to get Pulsemon back out of the dim and back into the vital bracelet. Here he is returning from a long day at work. He's absolutely buzzing. He's got great news. He's got his promotion. We won an additional 100 vital points for the win. And then a bonus 200 for having the battle. How cool is that? The next way to battle is through adventure mission. So in your training menu, if you scroll across to adventure mission, some stages to beat. So you'll start off at stage one and as you, when you beat stage one, you unlock stage two and so on and so forth. And there are 15 in total. And when you complete the final one, you'll unlock an evolution, which is pretty cool. You would select stage one, for instance. It will set you a goal of 500 steps. And when you complete that 500 steps, you, you will battle the boss of that stage. So activate adventure mission, go for a long walk or a jog or something like that. Do something physical and yeah, battle to your heart's content. And at any point, if you need to exit adventure mode, just hold down the bottom button and it will cancel. Stop and select and you're out. And the third way to initiate a battle is using the Near Field Communication, NFC. So again, when your screen is on, you can tap this device against anything that puts out an NFC frequency. So your card machines, your card scanners at train stations, security scanners and stuff like that. Anything that puts out an NFC signal, you tap your device against it and an infected Digimon is going to leap out from the corrupted Digiport and attack you. So here's a clip from an old video of me battling my version special against a car park machine. You turn the screen on your vital bracelet and then you tap it against the contactless bit. This will then trigger a wild battle. So this is just like a Digimon leaping out of a Digiport and attacking you. Now, this generates any random Digimon from the DIM card. So if you come up against something that's way too strong that you can't beat, you can run away from it by holding down the bottom button. But you must do that before the battle actually begins. Cool. Next up, let's talk about injuries. So when your Digimon loses a battle, there is a chance that your Digimon will get injured. If your Digimon is injured, you'll see a little black skull appear. And if your Digimon gets injured three times in a single day, then your Digimon will die. How to heal your Digimon? All you have to do is take it off your wrist and set it down and this will activate the healing state. You'll see some little green symbols pop up next to your Digimon. That means he's resting and healing his injuries. Each time your Digimon gets injured, it will take longer for their injuries to heal. Next, death. There is no way for your Digimon to naturally pass away, like in classic Digimon V-Pets. So your Digimon will only die if it's injured three times in a single day, or if you delete it using the all reset button in settings, or if you overwrite it by plugging in another DIM card. Or if you take the vital bracelet off, but leave it switched on for 24 hours, so it doesn't detect any movement or any heart rate for 24 hours, your Digimon will also die. So sooner or later, you're going to have a hard decision to make. <laughs> and there you have it, a beginner's guide to the original Digital Monster Vital Bracelet. This thing is awesome. So I've hopefully covered all of the basics and everything that you could possibly need to know before firing up your Digimon Vital Bracelet. That said, there is every chance I've missed something, so please feel free to hound me in the comments section and I'll do my absolute best to answer any questions that you may have. I really hope this video has helped you understand this device a little better and I really hope it's helped you make your decision as to whether this thing is for you or not. I absolutely love the Vital Bracelet. I've worn mine every single day since I got my hands on it. I would not be without a Digimon Vital Bracelet on my wrist ever again. This thing is absolutely awesome. I love having that direct link between me and my Digimon. It feels like we're truly connected and it is really awesome. It can turn just a simple walk into an awesome Digimon adventure and I absolutely love it.
This thing truly encourages me to take the long route home, to walk instead of drive, you know, anything to get those extra steps, to get those extra vital points, to make my Digimon stronger and happier. It is just awesome. And if you do want to get your hands on the original Digimon Vital bracelet or some additional DIM cards for your collection, then please head over to the Absolute Legends over at Bandai Shop UK. These guys are working really hard to bring Digimon back to the UK and to elevate our awesome community to awesome new highs. So yeah, that's that. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay ace, keep rocking. Peace.